Hi there, you're welcome to Demi Rx Care channel where we talk about medications and how to use them properly. If this is your first time on our channel, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button down below in order to join our Demi Rx Care community here and be able to support us. Um, and also in order for you to be able to get alerts anytime we post our other educating videos and contents here on our YouTube channel. So let's go ahead and talk about our topic of choice today. Our topic today is known as Abilify. So Abilify is a medication that's used for patients who have a bipolar disorder or patients who have a borderline personality disorder. It can also be used in a condition called drug-induced hyperprolactinemia. It can also be used in schizophrenia as well as depression. So usually patients would take about 5 to 15 milligram by mouth once a day. And usually the maximum we see in patient is about 30 milligram per day. So this medication comes in tablet as well as an intramuscular injection. So what are some side effects that you want to look out for while taking this medication? So some side effects include weight gain. This medication can cause constipation. It can cause increased sleepiness in patients. However, it also can cause insomnia in some patients. This medication can cause nausea as well as vomiting. It can cause dizziness, headache. It can also cause tremors, which is shakiness in patients. It can cause blurred vision as well as anxiety, restlessness, and fatigue in patients. So these are Keep in mind, these are side effects to look out for. It doesn't happen in everyone, but just in case if it does, these are um, conditions to look out for while taking the medication that you can report to your doctor and be able to figure out if this is going to be favorable for you in terms of treatment long term. So what are serious side effects that you definitely want to mention to your doctor as a condition of concerns as an urgent one, as a matter of fact. So these conditions would be what they call pancreatitis. So if you start noticing any abnormal stomach pain, especially in the right stomach area, then you want to make sure that you're um, letting your doctor or your primary care physician know, as well as if you start noticing any increased body temperature or seizures, or a condition called tardive dyskinesia, which is kind of like an abnormal involuntary movement of certain areas of the body, most especially the limb area. Also, if you start noticing any abnormal back, uh, back pain, uh, lightheadedness, dizziness, uh, fainting, um, as well as unusual tiredness or sleepiness during the day, confusion, um, muscle stiffness, or sweating. These are serious conditions that you want to bring up to your physician when next you're going for your appointment. That way they can see and make sure that this is not a serious side effect from this medication. Also, in patients who are elderly patients who have a dementia-related psychosis, they have noticed an increased risk for of death in those patients. So in patients who have this condition, which is the um, uh, dementia-induced psychosis or dementia-related psychosis, this patient should not be taking this medication due to that increased risk of death in that patient population. So what are other things that you need to know about this medication while you're taking the medication? With this medication, you want to make sure that you're drinking plenty of fluids in order to avoid dehydration while you're on this medication. Also, in patients who have diabetes, this, this medication may increase your blood sugar. Um, that Those are um, things that you want to look out for while you're on this medication. Also, if you start noticing any abnormal changes in behavior, such as, you know, suicidal ideation, then you want to stop this medication and reach out to your doctor immediately. Also, in our patients uh, that are yet to find out how well they react to this medication, you want to make sure that you're avoiding any activity that requires for you to be mentally alert after taking this medication, just in case you start feeling dizzy or drowsy while on this medication. Like I said, try to 
know how your body reacts to the medication before involving yourself in any activity that requires for you to be mentally alert right after taking the medication. Also with this medication, you can take it with or without food. So it can be taken regardless of meals or not. Also in this medication, you want to make sure that you're in reporting any increased form of seizures that you may be getting while you're on this medication to your doctor in order for them to ensure that this is not a serious side effect from the medication. All right, so I hope I was able to let you know, uh, let you in on some tips regarding how to take this medication effectively and safely. I look forward to seeing more of you on our channel. If you are yet, if you're, if you have not yet done so, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button down below. That way, you can get alerts anytime we post our other educating videos and content here on our YouTube channel. Thank you and stay blessed.